awards uh, yes. today and then also last year, you know, one of the top agents, stuff like that. But, and I know you're 30, you're a grown man and you're Italian, you're from New York, but be honest, there's still that four or five year old boy inside that loves getting certificates and awards, right? Because when I was over at Exit with you, uh -huh. I, I won all the trophies and stuff like that. I don't care about the money. I was I cared more about the trophies. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I like she calls Give me, me up on prize. stage and it's like it's like being in preschool, like, we got the gold star for you. So I, don't know. Hey, that's just me. I, I love it. I'm not gonna be humble about yeah. it. I do love it and yeah. I've been getting awards since my first my second full quarter in real estate, I've been getting awards, you know. So I've grown accustomed to it. Yeah. But I also appreciate it because it's, you know, you get your recognition. Mm -hmm. But the the big thing is, is like, I could win this award, but am I winning the war with myself? Right. You know, because, yeah, well, let's say I made X amount of dollars. Let's just throw that number out there and say my goal for the month was $40,000 in gross commission, right? Right. And I did thirty five. Well, am I happy about the award because I beat some other agent? Sure. Renee. But <laughs> Renee Keelan, <laughs> number two. Uh -huh. But I, am I more upset that I didn't reach my goal? You yeah. know, and that's kind of way. Like I appreciate the awards. I love them. They 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 motivate me. But it's also yesterday's awards. Yeah. You're not getting awards because Susan could see into the future. Yeah. You're getting awards because she's seen what you did the last thirty days. So can you repeat that? Consistency. I don't care about the people who win an award once a year. Yeah. I care about the people that can win it seven out of ten months, uh, seven out of twelve months, eight yeah. out of twelve months, and stay consistent and do it for ten out of eleven years. Yeah, you know, it's the consistency that does it for me. If I win top producer four times, four months in a row, then I'm starting to feel real good about myself. But if I do it for one month and get beat four of the month, you were just a top producer for those thirty days. You had a nothing. good run for thirty days. Yeah, yeah, like you got to be consistent. Yeah. So, yeah, I've won quite a few awards, and I'm not humble about it. I love them. <laughs> I, I decorate them. I decorate them. I freaking put them up. Put I got awards from home. 2016 to 2018, <laughs> and I love them. They're, they're just a symbol of people. People get crazy, and they start throwing out their old awards, and they mm. say, oh, we're, this is a new year. I get it. It's a new year, mm -hmm. but it brings me back. It shows me I need to remain consistent. My awards mm -hmm. from previous years don't tell me how great I am today. They tell me how great I need to be in these next 12 months to maintain my stat quo of winning all of these awards. Because you can't win them for two yeah. years and then not win them for eight. You yeah. gotta just keep winning or you're a loser, right? Yeah. You're either winning or you're losing. Yeah. And I don't wanna lose, so I'm just gonna keep maintaining the winning. And then in 10 years, when I have a top producer for 10 years in a row, then I can brag about it and say, hey, I'm a 10-year top producer, yeah. not a two-year top producer. Yeah.